Virgo past may be showing up and this could be some temptations or thoughts of the past can be um, just rehashing something. So I do feel that energy. Um, overall Virgo transformation is occurring. Things are transforming and they're creating a strong, strong new beginning. Um, slow change and this could be with also um, money, work, growth. Um, definitely a new beginning but slow. There's a slowness to it too as well. It's a definitely for some of you change of home, residence, um, change of direction in life too for some of you too. Hmm. Transformation is occurring. Okay, for me, what I'm seeing here, starting with the week one, there is a sense of temptation or a strong attraction. And this is to, I want to say, for some of you, there's an unhealthiness related to some kind of relationship. And it could be love and it could be just something in your life. Um, for a lot of you, this is also be, be careful of going into bad habits. Okay. Um, it could be dealing with a Virgo energy here too, another Virgo. But to me, what I'm seeing here, there are some wrenches thrown in. This is like someone dangling a carrot, you know, temptation, uh, tempted, but kind of stay on the right track. Okay. You could be connecting to people from the past. These are people that... You just feel some kind of, there's a sense of either obsessiveness, um, um, strong attraction. Hmm. Matters, of the, uh, matters of the heart can be a little tricky this week. This is like, Maybe a relationship that other people don't like, or this is um, decisions with love. I would be careful for some of you with money. This is like a quick, um, quick rich scheme. Um, it's not a good time for getting into any kind of contracts or um, I want to say deals without at least knowing the facts, figures, and doing some research, okay? Uh, for someone out there, you have a yes answer. This could be to a question, okay? Can be dealing with contracts this week, too. There's a renewal here, but... There is a lot of energies around you this week. This is a sense of a following, um, victory, success, um, moving forward with jobs and ideas, but you also... Need to relax a little bit. Could be some excitement around you. You need to take some time for yourself too. So I do see that. That's very good energy here as well. Um, you're really at strong new beginnings. Uh, it's it's like bringing some abundant energy, and this is a, a form of new beginnings with both mental and physical and personal growth liberating yourself from the past there's a lot of regenerative power light renewal new growth switch things around this week i have to say to virgos i think i saw this with aries as possible you need patience patience is uh, is very important tolerance don't push an agenda either. Take a break. Let things just um, flow. You know, things take time to develop. Balancing your energy is very important this week too. And this is with, um, you know, creative adjustments. This is like, okay, this works. This doesn't work, you know. So switching your routine around. So you may be, um, um, some of you may be forced to switch your routine around this week too. Okay, so I do see that. New ways of thinking. This could be, it could be a little bit too hard on yourself. You could be your own worst enemy or critic this week. So be careful of that. New way of thinking. There can be a problem with a child. So that was someone else. 
this week. Was it Libra? I'm not sure. It could be connection with Libra. Um, an unruly child or something like that. Um, I do feel that there will be a new way of thinking. A new hobby or interest may be coming. Some of you may be purging a bad habit. And you don't even realize it. Sometimes we don't realize that we do. And by, I want to say, the end of the year, maybe mid-December or on, is a strong new beginning. You may take on a new course, new lesson. Um, I want to say new interest. There is some kind of change here. It's a beginner's mind. You're kind of feeling stuck here. Now, Virgo, there are things that you kind of have to do this list of purging, um, like a clear out. Um, this is like, you're feeling stuck in a way or something's very heavy in your mind. And you kind of have to either give up something to be able to move forward or to create some kind of change, okay? I do see epiphanies coming through. But if you're dwelling on disappointments or comparing something to the past, oh, that didn't work before, things are different now. So um, this is like you get the, you know, you, thinking how you can do things a little differently is going to bring better results, okay? Some of you may be thinking of reconnecting with an ex, okay? So I do feel that energy. Now, love could be tricky. This is like a third um, party, you know, it's almost like a um, third party involved. Or this is a um, complicated relationship. Maybe you have to fight off someone's ex and you may have a victory. But I do see here there could be some delays with some choices that you want to make. Or this is like some doubts. Um, delays are definitely showing up here too. Triggers from the past. Um unwanted advice, opinions, things like that are showing up. But I also see for some of you having a victory over um, something that you think that you have to give up, but you don't really have to. No, I mean, giving up something, or letting go of the past, I think that's the best way to say it. it's going to bring you some kind of victory that, you know, it's just a relief as well. Um, definitely new beginnings and new growth are showing up. Okay, so I do see that. There can be a separation here. Dealing with some separation. Um, I do feel also you have to open your heart to give and receive love. It's like you're not emotionally attached to someone or something. Or that's, um, there's like another agenda in a relationship. I want to say it's more than just love. For some of you, I do feel true love is coming in 